Hey, what's up everybody? Holmes here and welcome back to more Bloodborne walkthrough. Real walkthrough, not a playthrough, with the Blood Tinge build. Whoops, did that too early. Let's try that again. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that, sounds, that, that felt kind of awkward. Uh, yeah. What's up, baby? Welcome, I'm a what is it you do? Yeah, sometimes she like, I don't know, she sits there and then, I don't know what she's doing. Uh, sometimes she hangs out near the, the tombstone up there. I wonder whose tombstone is that? Like, why is she hanging out here? Maybe we can get a look? I can't really, like, I don't even know whose tombstone it is. Okay, uh, yeah, I was just wondering, like, you know, it's, it's kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, anyways, welcome back. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked there. Uh, in the last video, we took down Vicar Amelia, the boss of Cathedral Ward, and today we are going to be taking on the Hemwick Charnel Lane. Alright, so let's go there. And someone posted a comment, I can't remember who it is, I was reading it this morning. And I can't remember who it is. But yeah, someone someone mentioned like, why the heck do I explain for like six minutes, you know, before I actually fight the boss? Well, let me let me answer your question here. Um, the reason why I do that it's because I want to make sure everyone gets how the boss fight works. Because I'm doing a walkthrough here, okay? There, it's like you know, a walkthrough. It's a guide, so <laughs> I I want to make sure everyone knows how to take down the boss with like with the strategy I'm trying to provide that's why I sit there trying to explain how the boss fight works I mean if you don't really care about me explaining things you can just go ahead and skip through it if you want or if you don't like the way I do things then you're more than welcome to um, watch someone else's video where they jump straight into the boss fight but for me when I do a walkthrough I like to I like to um, explain things and I want to make sure that everybody understands what I'm trying to do. That's why I sit there for like <laughs> six, seven, eight minutes trying to provide details on how the boss works and what you can do to get around like what it does or some crazy shit that the boss does and what does, you know. That's why, that's why I do that, you know. Cause like. Yeah. If I'm, I'm if I'm doing a playthrough, then I would just go ahead and jump into the boss fight, and probably get wrecked. And I'll talk about more, like a little bit more about playthroughs after I clear out this part here. Um, here there's actually five enemies. There's one, one of those crazy hags in the back over there. There's two wandering over here. You can kind of see the the one in the back with the, um, the fiery spear back there. Um, there's two wandering around. There's and then there's two more stationary. Kind of sort of this one you gotta have to be careful right here you can't actually lock onto her so be careful because if you just run down here straight for straight up run down here for this this one with the torch um this one that was like weeping near the grave or something she'll get you <laughs> even though it's probably not gonna hit that hard but she'll get you um and these 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 hags actually have combos they have these like Attacks that with they, they just go all berserk on you And that shit hurts that shit hurts They may look all weak and stuff, but if you get caught up in their combo that thing hurts Uh, And one more enemy right here. She's kind of hidden. She patrols around over here somewhere yep. She's gonna have to oh shit You got me I'm gonna pay for that though All right twin bloodstone shards and let's go ahead and grab up this bloodshot eyeball here. All right, um, this is creepy. <laughs> it's like a big ass crazy hag, I guess. I never noticed this until like I was doing my play. I mean, play through my practice run recently, just so I can get this video up for you guys. Uh, yeah, I never noticed that thing there. Here we have an NPC. Which, I don't know what's going on here. Well, actually you can talk to this NPC if you come here w before taking on Amelia. So, before the, you know, the night falls. You can come here, 
You can talk to these NPCs. There's one here, and then there's like two more NPCs back at Cathedral Ward you can talk to, but they are pretty much not really important. Actually, they're not important at all. Unless you're like looking for lore stuff, then they're probably important. But if you just want to go through the game and collect everything, these, these NPCs, you don't have to talk to them. They don't give you shit. And you can't rescue them anyways, so they... They're a bit crazy to start off with. So, yeah, you're not missing out much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here, you're actually gonna get one dog and one crazy hag right there. Okay. Make sure you don't rush in because there's two enemies up there. One enemy has, has like, ability to throw Molotovs at you. So, you want to be really careful with that one. Because if you rush in there, that Molotov's gonna hurt if that thing lands on you. Oh, I win spam. Alright. Now for the enemy with the Molotov. She, he or she is going to be like right there. And you see? Chugging the Molotovs. I'm going to actually come around here. Be careful because there is this, this one with the freaking hammer. So I can use this wall to block the Molotovs from landing at you. And after you're done with that other crazy person. <laughs> come up here. Kick this person's ass, then drop anything. Why would ya? How would that other guy? No, then drop anything. Okay, that's that's cool. Uh, up there, there's gonna be two more enemies. One Molotov guy over there on the side, and then you gotta watch out for Frankenstein over here. Oh shit, that leaping attack. Oh. Oh shit. Okay, I couldn't see what was going on, so I couldn't parry. I know you can parry the jumping attacks. That was just a bit of chicken. Parry that. Is he dead? Yes, he is. Blood vials. So, yeah, the reason... I think this is what I was getting at, like, for playthroughs. Why I don't do playthroughs is because, um... If, I, if I'm concentrating on, like, fighting an enemy... I'm not gonna be doing much commentary, and if I'm, if I'm doing a lot of commentary, I'm probably just gonna get wrecked by the enemies around me. Cause um, for playthroughs, like if I'm playing through the game for the first time, I want to know what's going on. So I'm just sit, like, and to be honest, I don't read. I'm like, I'm not the fastest reader. So and I read pretty slow, <laughs> in my opinion, I read pretty slow. So I don't want to sit there for like 30 minutes. Figuring out what that one sentence mean. <laughs> uh, I'm probably over exaggerating right here, but you know, I I'm just giving an example. I don't want to like bore you guys with me trying to figure out how the game works. That's why I don't really do playthroughs. But when I do, um, do playthroughs, it's I don't really find. I don't really think it's like it's good. The, the video is kind of sloppy in my opinion. So yeah. But if you guys are looking for like straight up fights with bosses and stuff like that without any explanations, you gotta check out the playthroughs. Cause that's that's usually what it is. Or maybe someone's really good at like explaining things on the spot. And you know. Some some pro walkthrough guide right there. And right here, I just took down like a whole bunch of crows. Like there was like five of them here, around five, five or four, give or take. <laughs> they're just hanging out here. Um, it's kind of hard to see if you're not paying attention, but they're right here, okay, guarding these two items. So if you just walk in here, grabbing these pebbles, you're gonna get wrecked. Even though they're pebbles, it's a search corpse. What? What is it even glowing? But if you got like a long range weapon, like if you got like a whip or something, very nice. Heavy attack right there. If it doesn't kill him in one hit, it'll, t it'll definitely kill him in two hits. And right here, this is actually a shortcut back down to the beginning. So, this is where that old hag that I was talking about, uh, even though we can't really get her to talk now, because we reached Nightfall. But yeah, this is where you can go back to the beginning. What? I, I don't know, this, this shortcut's kind of weird. I feel like. I don't know, <laughs> I guess a mini shortcut because we didn't even go through much. But then again, I played through the game already, so I I have like, I, 
I know how long. Oh shit. I know how long the the levels are. So, like, if you play through a Souls game for the first time, everything seems so long. Like, you go through a level, it seems like it's it'll take you like a million hours just just to get to like the boss or like the shortcut. But then when you play through it like a couple more times, you're like, mm, you know, this game is pretty short actually. And what we just got. It's the bone marrow ash. This is really, really useful. I think we got this in the last video. I just didn't talk about it. But this is really, really useful f for um, firearms, especially if you're with um, if you're using a blood tinge build. Oh my goodness! Because um, uh, firearms, they most of the time. Well, actually, I think all firearm scales off of blood tinge the most. So if you get like um. S or A scaling firearm and then like you upgrade that thing slap on the bone marrow ash BAM that shit does damage so we're gonna be hang hanging on to that because we will be using that in the future right here you can choose to fight this big guy up here or you can you know kind of bait him back down here Boom. Because if you fight him up there, there's going to be a Molotov guy up there. So, I don't know. It's kind of a risk. I was really scared of fall. <laughs> I didn't move. I was like... The moment I locked onto him, because like, when you lock onto an enemy, the movement of your character kind of changes. I was... Oh shit, where's the, the guy with the Molotov? Oh, he's right there. Hey. Get your dumb ass over here. Nope. I don't want to go in there because I know um, there's a dog that chart and rushes down. This guy's supposed to hang around here. I don't know why he's freaking winning. Uh, fine, I'll go after you. Okay, uh. Oh, I knew this person was here. I didn't know it was gonna attack this soon because usually this, this crazy hag. Just call them hags. This, that hag sits right here, and most of the time it doesn't attack you until the dog appears, which is right here. Yeah. Then she'll get up and try to ambush you from behind. But this time it was kind of weird because this guy was hanging out inside the guy with Molotov. So I guess when I'm engaging that guy, it kind of like triggered this person, that other hag that was sitting here, because I made noise. So I. Yes, that's why she woke up. Yeah, because, you know, usually a person doesn't wake up. Shit always changes when I record it. Like, in the practice run, no matter, no matter how many times I practice, it's, it's, the same, it's the same routine. The moment I decide to record, that's where everything changes. You know, like, freaking bosses glitching me in the walls and stuff like that. Oh man, I can't get over the fact that um, the smelter demon freaking glitched me in um, Dark Souls 2 when I fought him in the walkthrough. I got freaking wall glitched me and I had to like take a take a hit from the thing just so I can get unglitched. It was really stupid. And some other crazy shit happened too. It was like, if you guys watch my walkthroughs, you guys know like, shit goes down once I record. <laughs> Weird stuff happens. Watch out for this guy that's hanging around the corner. If you go like, if you just straight up rush out here just to grab this item right here. That guy's gonna shoot the shit out of you. So be careful. And we got another blood gym. Where is it? Right here. Thrust attack up. Uh, We got some thrusting weapons. I don't even know if I can equip it. Can I? Yeah, actually I can. But I'm not gonna because I don't need it. Let me just double check my stats. I hope I didn't fuck it. Okay, I didn't. <laughs> okay, just in case because I might like start adding stuff on skill. Just because I'll be thinking like, oh yeah, this is a skill build, that's right. <clears throat> but in reality, it's not. This is a, this is a blood tinge build, Holmes. Get your shit together. So you can actually come here uh, before finding Amelia. 
I don't really see a difference, except it's much darker if you come here after fighting Amelia because after fighting Amelia, it's is where the game gets dark. So uh, it's like uh, main boss for the first like time change is Gas Coin, second boss Amelia. So yeah, let's go ahead and take care of this person. Grab up this item. You could drop down there, but you want to. You might want to rethink that strategy because you see, there's gonna be a hag over there, and then there's gonna be a dog right there, and then there's a, a whole bunch of more dogs over there. <laughs> so you know, you might want to reconsider if that's. Oh shit! Okay. Fuck. There we go. Fucking my parry timings. Generally, you wanna just fire at these guys if they're about to rush. I I was just like I was getting confused. Like, is this guy gonna rush or is he gonna attack? I didn't wanna like take his attack because he was doing that crazy ass combo where it's gonna drop my health down, and I didn't wanna. I didn't wanna waste any any blood vials. That's why I was being a little bit cheap there. So yeah, I was like, mm, should I risk? Should I risk it? Or it's like, I don't know, man. Twin bloodstone shards. That's where it is. Uh, dog, and there's one guy with the Molotov right there. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right there. Oh, I'm fucking burn myself. I'm trying to get the dog to burn himself. Nice try, man. Nice try. Want to try that again? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I want to bait him a little bit inside before I kill him. Because sometimes, you know, if you don't dish out enough damage, and you'll end up knocking him down there. And then, um, there's two... There's two executioners down there. One's right there. And the other one's right over there. You can see the axe. Uh, once you get to this point, you want to be really careful. Because right there, there's going to be a crazy bitch with the eyeball scooper. Right there. down you go um <laughs> oh man i just don't want to get molested by dogs man that's <laughs> that's pretty much it let's uh fuck that's not what i want to do uh let's see let's see let's see let's get the pungent blood cocktail so if we get a little bit and we get into some sticky situation we can use that to kind of like you know Calm the dogs down a little bit. Just a little bit. Not too much. I'm kinda scared. Oh shit, that pissed off the other guy too. Oh. Let's go ahead and open the shortcut first before I do anything else. Hurry the fuck up. <laughs> Okay, I didn't piss off anybody. Okay. Okay, that's um that's a relief. <laughs> Yo. Alright. There you ass. They do jump too, they have this like leaping attack, so be really careful. It's really fast. Shit catches me off guard most of the time. I'm like, oh fuck. I'm just kinda worried about the dogs. <laughs> That's that's what I'm worried about. I'm like I don't want to fight this guy and then like freaking like the whole wolf pack attacks me. Okay, I'll my my parry time is a bit slow off that one. And too fast on that other one. There's this three hit attack that I always love, like that one right there. Yeah, for the punch, it, it like this thing winds up so slow that I just love to parry him. The moment he tries to punch, it's like my favorite time to parry him. But sometimes it's a bitch kind of... I don't even know what kind of a chin I picked up. Fuck. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes it's kind of a pain to um, get him to do the attacks. Hello, doggy. Are you serious? You didn't see me? What the hell? Hello? 
wait a minute. Make this real quick here. If I toss this over there, the Molotov right away, I will only get one dog. <laughs> okay, at least that's. Oh shit! Oh my god! Woo! Fucking score the NBA right there. Okay, that that was like the best thing that's. It's probably the best thing that's happened in this video. Me <laughs> landing that multiple hit. Damn, this dog is like playing like a real player, dodging and stuff. All right. Oh man. Okay. Let's grab the pickups. <laughs> We're not quite done with this area just yet. We're almost done, but not quite. Almost though. Almost. Really close. Let's go ahead and grab this bone marrow ash. There's one more dog right here. So we can just go ahead and trigger this dog. And that guy is just going to go all crazy with the Molotov. So we can just back up here. Hey, man. I, I see your Molotov. Calm down there. I don't want any. No. Sail denied. Bloodstone shard. And um There's a pickup right there. It's a rune actually. This is a very scary pickup. This is a very scary pickup. I shat myself the first time trying to pick this thing up. It might look all easy, but you no. Know. You're gonna have to like get right on the edge just to get this rune. Oh my god. Fall down there, instant death. There's no swimming in the Souls game. Come on. <sighs> Fuck. So this one, I, I, it's actually kind of useful. Physical damage reduction plus 3%. Uh, but once we get like those attack gems, it's like. Not, not attack gems, but. Uh. Visceral attack up, stuff like that, you know, it boosts and like uh, runes that give you stamina or HP. Those things are way more useful than that. Then again, I'm I'm pretty sure someone else are gonna have someone else is gonna have like a different opinion of that. And that is some scary shit right there. It it reminds me of Dark Souls 2 when you fight when you're about to fight the um, the lost sinner. Or the last sinner. I think it's the lost sinner. I haven't played that game in a really long time, I don't remember the boss things, but yeah, that that ocean view looks so scary at night. Oh my god. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and get to the boss. We still gotta take care of some enemies, there's a um, couple more hacks we gotta deal with. Uh, we got one executioner that's right here. Let's just scrape up on the executioner. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Maybe if we were a little bit faster, it would have worked. But yeah, if you just run up there, you know, try to take on the hags, this guy will follow you up. Okay, so don't think you can just go up there. Without anything happening to you. Because this guy is gonna follow you up. And if you take forever trying. Oh, this is the attack that I'm most scared of. Like that jump. Oh my god. Calm down, you fucking. Fucking ballerina. Yeah, you walk up there trying to take down those hags. Oh man, you got another thing coming. That freaking. That freaking guy from behind is gonna go cray cray on you. Oh, you just pushed me? What the fuck? Yo, that's that's a foul. It's against the rules. Oh my god. Okay, somebody knocked me away. I'm assuming this bitch was spear because she's been pushing me. You know what? That's it. That's it. Calm down, okay? Calm the fuck down. Ooh, Molotov, nice. <laughs> oh, almost forgot. Almost forgot. There's a freaking chest right here. That the executioner was guarding. 
And we got another gemstone. Uh, it's right here. Physical attack up plus 4.2 percent. Adds slow poison effect. Now the thing that I'm wondering, like I'm most curious, is like, does poison really work on bosses? I know it works on enemies. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if it works on bosses. I've never tried. <laughs> and Hachu! Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright. Uh, final stretch here. There's gonna be an imp that actually drops down. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Twin Bloodstone Shards. Mammon's Knowledge. Bunch of corpses. I think we're good here. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. So yeah. Because once we get down there, that's gonna be the boss fight. So we're gonna save that for the next episode. So thank you all for watching. And I hope this video has been entertaining and helpful and enjoyable. And if you all have found all three of those qualities to be in this video, then hey, stay tuned for the next one. But until next time, I will see you all later. Holmes out.